Better late than never, right? Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the YouTube channel, Deuce here, with another video. We are going to be discussing X Defiant. Uh, over the past several weeks, we got hit with a whole bunch of information. Uh, we're going to be covering the blog post, the IGN post, the response from Mark, uh, the preseason, and the year one roadmap. Be sure to stick around, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for anything further of X Defiant. Looking forward to going on this journey with you guys. Let's talk the blog post. So, in the blog post, he talks about, in the first paragraph, it says, First things first, he, here is a detailed description of how the submission process goes. And he details fully in depth of how the process does work. Uh, I'm not going to read this fully to, to y'all, but if y'all if do want to check it out, I will link it in the description below. Definitely worth the read, so I highly do recommend you check it out. So in the second part of this blog post, he goes around and talks about, so why no firm release date? And he talks about why there is no firm release date. If we were following the standard rules for a game release, we would have set a date for far enough in advance with enough buffer to have a confident release date however like a lot of things with this game we have not chosen this typical route and the reason for that is there's a lot to play in uh submissions uh fellow submissions can push the game back who, who knows when uh he also in a tweet talked about he refuses to put strand on his team he refuses to overwork his crew and I, for one person, respect that because there's a lot of companies out there that push their devs to the limits to get a game out on a time crunch. And I think when you're on a time crunch, more issues occur during the building process and more bugs occur. So much respect to Mark uh, to end this. To conclude, we set out since the concept of this game to be more transparent with our community and to listen to our players and act on their feedback. And that is something Mark has been very good at. He's been very transparent with us moving forward. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the future of this game and seeing where it goes. Uh, moving on, IGN had released an article regarding them failing the first submissions check it out so ign released an article talking about how x defiant failed to pass certification for first party platforms and its release date has been pushed back that's no surpriser that ign is pushing articles about this because they are a gaming media company so they cover all things video games and whatnot what really threw everyone for a surprise was mark rubin himself responded to the tweet saying how this is very misleading as fill in the first sub is normal pretty much expected by any game so our quote later this summer window hasn't moved based on not passing the first sub that window was based on having to go through a second sub just trying to be honest as i can and then he proceeds to follow up that tweet with look there is a lot about game development that is a mystery to anyone who hasn't shipped a game there is nothing wrong with that. I don't want to be negative about that. I just want to try and educate where I can and hope that transparency and honesty makes a better community. Much respect, Mark. So everyone knows IGN, how they create misleading articles. But what no one expected was Mark, the man himself, the head dev, the executive producer at Ubisoft, to correct IGN. So it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty gnarly. Uh, moving on, let's talk about the preseason of X Defiant and the season one roadmap that we got. Like I said, um, I'm a little late, but a little late than ever, right? Moving over to the preseason of the game. So when the game drops and it's officially out, it's going to drop with 14 maps, 10 arena maps, 4 progression maps, 5 factions, 5 modes, 24 webs with over 44 attachments. Now, I don't know if you, if you guys played in the beta or not, but while playing the beta, looking around at the weapons, there were mastery camos. Uh, there was bronze, silver, and gold that you can get. So, I'm hoping down the road there's other mastery camos that are in this because I think grinding for camos would be pretty fun in that game. Uh, Preseason's pretty basic. Uh, I mean, it, it looks pretty 
freaking cool. I mean, 14 maps on the start, so that's pretty sick. Uh, what looks even better is season, or not season one, but wrote, but year one. Excuse me. Uh, got so many different things coming along with that. So let's take a look at that real quick. So the year one roadmap looks pretty freaking sick. So you got the four seasons, uh, and in each season you got three new weapon drops, three new maps, and nine interior battle pass. Uh, future modes to come. Uh, you gonna have ranked mode, private matches, uh, caster cams, new arena progression modes. And there's a lot to come within the year one, and it's gonna look fantastic. I think X Defiant is gonna be a very wonderful, fantastic FPS that's gonna be executed very well. I think Mark and his team has made a comment. It's I don't know how to describe it. It's it's if Ubisoft decided to make Call of Duty. I guess uh, there there's gonna be so many old, old Call of Duty features that don't exist in Call of Duty games no more. That's gonna exist in this game. So as an OG Call of Duty player, I'm really looking for a dub playing. X Defiant create content on X Defiant. I think, as a content creator standpoint, I think creating content on X Defiant is going to be very, very fun. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you learned something new or enjoyed the content, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more. I will be covering all things X Defiant here. Uh, gameplays, news, leaks, you name it. If it's X Defiant related, you can find it here. Much love for everybody.